you see, when I was a girl, a little girl, locks. Christmas was so much fun. And it's country I come from, you know. So every single thing about Christmas was amazing. You talk about preparation. Preparation happened weeks before. Because first of all, when the cousins and so on would come from the country, even though I come from country, you, know, you had some deep rural parts that had some things that my part of the country didn't have. And they would come and visit my parents and they would bring things like the gungu that we may not have had, or the sorrel, or the ginger, or whatever it may be. And then now my mother would sometimes, the sorrel, if it comes too early, long before Christmas, she would put it to dry. And that dried sorrel now, you say, come the night before Christmas. Boy, and my mother used to love doing sorrel. Nobody could do sorry like her. She would boil the water. And she would pour that boiling water on the dried soil if she had dried soil. But of course, if it wasn't dried soil and the soil was nice and fresh, she would do the same thing. She'd pour the boiling water on top of it. And ginger would be crushed and put into the, 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 the soil. And then now she would put, believe it or not, some pimento green. And she would put a thing called chew stick, which come from a particular bush. And um, some people might know chew stick because in, in some parts of rural Jamaica, they would use it to brush their teeth. But for whatever reason, my mother would put it in there, in the soil. And she would also get some cane, peel the cane, and she would put some strips of cane into the soil, my love. And you see, when that hot water go on it, she cover it so that it can steep as you know, put too much hot water so that the soil come out pink, you know. Mm -mm. The soil have to come out nice and strong and red. And she used, after it's steeped and cooled and strained, now that the time the rhythm start. Because she have to get dark sugar, not granulated sugar, dark sugar. And she gets some good estate rum because we did live near Appleton Estate you know you get the real rum undiluted rum from Appleton and she put that in sometime too she might put in a little red label wine or she might put in just a little bit of molasses just a little bit for flavoring and you see when that mix and you pour it over a glass with ice and let me tell you a little something back in the day before electricity you know and before we had fridge we used to have to buy big blocks of ice and then now they would dig a hole and put the block of ice in the hole and put sawdust on the hole so that it on the ice big pardon so that the ice no melt so fast so now when the sorrel on the Christmas day ready for serve, them chip up the ice, wash it off so that no sawdust no in it, put it in the glass, and Lord, that is one of the best drink that you could have ever have. Christmas, not, they wouldn't have the sorrel in the morning. They would have it in the evening. And you see that sorry with the Christmas dinner? It's the best drink you could ever have. But nobody thinks that the sorry done this, you know. Because what my mother would do, I know I began to see why she would put the sugar cane and the chew stick in there. Because the little left over from Christmas, whatever is left over of the sorry, she would put it in what was known as a dimijana. No, that would be a big glass bottle big and they would sometimes have wicker um woven around such a jar small bottle jar call it what you will and she would pour that sorrel in there and it would stay there and ferment and it becomes a sorrel wine so later down in the year 
and my father bring up him friend him and him want to show off him say you want a little wine is my mother sorry wine him can bossy off with me used to thief some and never get drunk though but me used to love it mm-hmm.